Experts in the East Midlands have made an important discovery in their quest to understand a mysterious condition that causes mainly young and middle-aged women to have heart attacks. SCAD, as it's known, is something that's stumped many in the medical profession for years. Bex Breslin from Leicestershire inspired the UK's first major research project led from Leicester. For the first time, it's now revealed a genetic risk factor linked to the heart attacks. Our health correspondent, Rob Sissons, reports. Bex never imagined she'd have a heart attack so young. She woke up having one seven years ago. She was just 34. I just felt awful. Um, and when I tried to sort of sit up, I, I really struggled to get up. It was like someone was pushing me down into the bed. Bex's story is similar to hundreds of others. What they have in common is that their heart attacks are linked to something called SCAD, spontaneous coronary artery dissection, which affects blood flow to the heart. So what you can see is the bright red is a coronary artery, which is taking blood to the heart muscle, and the black shows the bruise, the blood clot that is wrapped around the vessel, squashing it, compressing it from the outside. And it's that which stops the blood getting to the heart muscle and causes a heart attack in our SCAD patients. From Leicester, Dr Adlam's led an international team. He's excited to have found the first genetic variant associated with the condition. It's a gene which we call it a common variant, so it's more of a risk factor. doesn't mean that the disease runs necessarily in, in families, but it provides us with some really exciting and important insights into the underlying processes that may be causing SCAD. Bex has been keeping in close touch with the research team, she runs a UK-wide support group now and is excited by the latest discovery. It is a piece of the puzzle um, and it's sort of, it feels like the research has been moving at such a, a rate to find out this information so quickly, really. Um, I think you know, we can all be impatient and we want to understand it, but it takes a long time to understand any health condition. By no means will everybody who carries this variant have SCAD, but what it does for us scientifically is it starts to help us to understand the mechanisms which lead to this disease. The work here in Leicester goes on, and so does Beck's mission to find answers. Rob Sissons, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicestershire.